What's going on everybody? Welcome to a new video, Madden Sunday School, episode 2 of the Madden 19 season. This one is going to be focusing on the trail passing concept in Madden 19. Now just to start things off, the trail passing concept is found in a lot of different formations, mainly like trips and bunch style formations. Uh, you'll see it in gun bunch, you'll see it in single back wide trips, you'll see it in stuff like strong close. So you'll definitely see it throughout a lot of playbooks. This one we're going to look at is from the Eagles playbook, bunch open tight end. And the play is called Y Trail, fittingly. And so, just a little bit of a backstory. We're going to go ahead and go against Cover 2 Man to start things off. Uh, but a little backstory on how this route concept was kind of created and why it was created. So, what defensive coordinators started doing uh, was to defend against these bunch concepts. Uh, what they would do is they would put one defender on the inside, they would put one defender deep, and then they put one defender on the outside. And so what this was doing was basically they were predicting that from the bunch, you'd have three receivers all going in different directions. And so it, they didn't have their specific man. Like Alfred wasn't watching Eli Rogers. Alfred was watching the first receiver to break inside. Alfred was taking him. Uh, you know, pool, the first receiver to go deep, he was taking him. Trufant, whoever broke to the outside, that was his guy. So they were just kind of matching based off of where the routes were going. And so that was doing a good job of kind of stymieing some of these, you know, bunch concepts where receivers were breaking all over the place. So what people started doing is this trail concept, which is basically where, you know, Juju runs the drag. So whoever is taking the inside receiver is going to take Juju. Brown runs the deep post. So whoever's taking the deep receiver takes Brown. And then that would leave the outside defender, in this case, Desmond Trufant, all the way on the outside there, to take Eli Rogers. And Eli Rogers looks like he's going to the flat at first, and then he breaks back over the middle. So it was all about really this trail route was getting open uh, because of the way that cornerbacks were matching the bunch receivers. And so it was really causing problems for these defenders because they didn't know exactly where guys were breaking at the snap of the ball. And you were basically isolating one guy based on his principles and taking advantage of the fact of where he was lining up. So that's just a little backstory on, you know, kind of how this, uh, I guess, concept came to be. But in the game, you're going to see that it is also a great passing concept just in general, uh, not only by against man to man coverage, but also against zone. So I'll go ahead and show you guys against man a few times here. Uh, obviously, I kind of move the guys around, but this drag route is going to do a fantastic job of getting open against man-to-man -man pretty much every single time. I'll go ahead and show you guys uh, one more time against this drag. That drag gets really good separation. I mean, Juju's there. He's not the fastest guy ever. True Font's probably a little faster than him, and he's still getting very good separation. So that's fantastic against man coverage. You're also going to have this deep post by Antonio Brown, which is fantastic against two man under you can see he splits the safeties and you know sometimes you can split them and get through them and it'll be an 80 yard touchdown so that's a great pass uh, or a great route rather against two man under just be careful not to throw that against like a cover one you can throw that against two men under and like six man blitzes but don't throw it against cover one just watch where that safety is kind of playing deep in the middle of the field and then last but not least you still have the trail route which is going to come back and get solid separation i mean eli rogers not the greatest receiver ever, but he's going to get solid separation. So you have three great routes against man-to-man -man coverage there on the right side. That was against two men under. I'll go ahead and show you against an all-out blitz. So just be mindful that if you're running this setup, you only have five blockers. So just be mindful that if you see your opponent bringing pressure, you have to get rid of the ball quick. So you really don't have time for Rodgers' route to develop. You really have to throw it to either Juju or AB you know, at the snap of the ball. So right here, six-man pressure, bam. You got to get rid of it. Obviously, that can lead to some big plays. You can take off running to the sideline. Just be aware of the fact that you're only blocking five uh, whenever you're going against guys with uh, who are bringing pressure right there. That was just a great play uh, by Trufant right there. But I'll go ahead and show you guys against different zones as well. So right here, Tampa 2. And so against zone coverage, it's really all about just take what the defense gives you, right? So against Tampa 2 here, you know, step up in the pocket. Obviously, that post route by AB is kind of going to be everybody's first idea to throw against Tampa 2, you know, splitting the safeties, getting behind the linebackers, and it is a great route. If you see Tampa 2, your opponent sitting in it, uh, that route's fantastic. Like I said, you can split the safeties and really, really get a lot of yards, uh, but also it's all about taking what the defense gives you. So right there, I see that the linebacker is dropping back. It looked like he was focused on the tight end running his corner out. And so you go ahead and hit Juju underneath. You know, you don't have to, you know, tunnel on Eli Rogers' route right there. That was against 
two man under again. I forgot to change against uh, into Tampa too, uh, but basically just like I said, take what the defense gives you. Uh, make sure you're not just tunneling on a certain route. Each defense is going to defend the routes differently, right there. If you know the defense gets pulled deep because of you know both the post route by AB and the the routes over the middle by Rodgers and Juju, then hit the flats. You, you know, get a guy like Le'Veon Bell out into space, and and make them pay for you know trying to defend everything over the middle. You know, uh, make a couple guys miss and you can get some monster yardage. Uh, so that was once again against two men under. Right here, we're going to go ahead against cover three. So cover three obviously might be a little different. You know, the post route by AB might not be open. Uh, but once again, you're going to be looking right there, clear out routes. You know, everybody drops deep. Go ahead, take what the defense gives you. Get that five or six yards. You know, if you get five or six yards every play, uh, you're going to end up scoring a touchdown. And that's going to be very frustrating for your opponents. It's, it's, there might not be anything more frustrating when you're just getting nickel and dime down the field and you can't stop it. And so just these little bitty little bitty plays that are very frustrating for your opponent right here once again throw it to the flats take what they give you you know eight or nine yards bam so against cover three obviously and really against any zone it's it's all about just not being greedy and and hitting the open guys so right here once again cover four and so you're going to see kind of how this develops once again oh look the flats are wide open go ahead and hit the flats make some guys miss because i'm leaving on bell break a tackle and bam you know 30 yards later i'm getting knocked out of bounds so it's all about like I've been saying the entire video, taking what the defense gives you right here against cover four, you can kind of see how this develops. Um, you know, I have Juju initially over the middle of the field because that linebacker kind of jumps to the outside. So I could hit Juju and try and cut it up. Uh, you do have this guy waiting for him, so just be careful with that. Obviously, the post route is going to be covered. So like I said, against cover three and cover four, this post route's not as good, but against man-to-man -man and cover two, it's money. Uh, also, you have Eli Rogers coming back over the middle, but he's kind of cutting into, you know, two defenders. So you want to stay away from that. But because those two defenders are so far over the middle of the field, that leaves Le'Veon Bell wide open on his swing route. So, like I said, get a guy like Le'Veon in space, make a juke, make a juke, break a tackle. And next thing you know, you're off to the races. So fantastic passing concept in Madden 19. Like I said, not only in this formation, it's in other formations. I know it's in normal gun bunch week, single back and gun wide trips. You know strong close and probably in a few others i believe it's in you know pistol bunch tight end they have a play that's called like fake screen wheel uh that has a trail route that you can kind of manipulate to get to look like this so you know you can get creative and get this concept out of other formations as well but fantastic passing concept both against man to man and against zone coverage just just don't get greedy take what the defense gives you and check it down to the open guy but that's going to do it for this video guys as always Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed Madden Sunday School Episode 2 of the Madden 19 season. Until next time, guys, take it easy.